What up guys, Mike here, owns pressure washing. Um, I just want to show you guys my proportioner. I don't think I showed you guys how it works completely. Um, but I got my roof, my little gun. I got that from Pressure Tech, you can build them. But um, all it is is, let me see if you can, I don't know. It says rate it up to 16 gallons per minute. Uh, oh, it says Stutner. Sutner 510 and then it's got a half inch PVC riser on it a little street elbow and then a J rod so Yeah, it, it works pretty good guys. I got a five and a half gallon per minute pump on there Works pretty good There's the soap coming out It's not my need. Let me see how this bad boy goes. Go to the uh... all right. So we're going up on the roof right now. Let's see that bad boy. Oh yeah. It's a little windy too, and I can still hit the roof. Nice gutter lines. If it's not windy, you can hit pretty good. Oh yeah, we're hitting it. Look at that, I'm hitting the top of that roof all the way over there. So it gets pretty good for five and a half gallons per minute. I recommend it. I mean, a lot of guys talk about these um, air diaphragms and boosters, which, you know, I do want to get eventually, but I really don't have a need for it right now. I mean, I'm not even doing jobs every day, but I'm getting a couple a week. So right now this five and a half gallon per minute, I recommend it. Um, you know, it's done great for me. No problems at all, actually. Got a nice little flow to it. Oh yeah, all right, so here's a proportioner. Um, I got, you know, my water line and my bleach line. I got them both in the water right now. When I want, you know, when I'm doing a roof or washing a house, I got a 55 gallon drum back there. I tossed the bleach line in there. Crank them both up on five. I got my soap on at one and a half right now. And that's plenty, you know. So I'll show you how that works. So like I said, I got the two lines. One goes in my IBC tote. One goes in the bleach tank in the back. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a little messy right now. Yeah, so I got the bleach tank right there. All right, I put it, the one drop tube in there and then the soap tube comes off the top of the IBC tote and I drop it down in my five gallon bucket, which all I have in there is four gallons of water, one gallon of snotmanade. Um, you see, my buddy just got me some apple wash. Yeah, some apple wash right there. So I'm excited to try that out. Oh man.
but yeah, so we're rolling, man. We got everything we need, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, it works good, man. You know, this little proportioner thing, they're like 30 something dollars. I think, no, they're like $29 a piece on Amazon. I know they're not the best, but hey, it works. It works pretty good for me. You know, I get a roof mix or I could dial down a, um, you know, if I wanted to, I could go down to, uh, I would say about a 1%. You put it on one, you're somewhere about 1%, maybe one and a half, you know, you go up and then all the way up to 50 50 but um works pretty good that's my uh roof pump i got from pressure tech so i got my lines coming into the metering valve comes out to a three three quarter line into the pump and then out through half inch hose that i hook up to my curie tech but yeah it works good guys so hold on put this fan pattern on See how it works. We need a nice little. See the soap? It makes it stick. It works really good, Stop Manate. I'm a fan of it. You can see it running down slowly. See it? Holds it on there nice. Smells good too, but I'm excited to try that apple wash. Um, well, yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, I don't, I forget what I paid. I think Pressure Tech right now, it's like 400 bucks for this kit, and you get the little in the box. Comes with a little fan, keeps it cool. Um, five and a half gallons per minute, and it gives you two, uh, 200 foot of this. Um, poly hose which you know i upgraded to this blue stuff but you don't have to i used the poly for a couple months um and the poly really wasn't bad i just got i got a good deal on the blue hose from Lori smith on uh pressure washing products so i went ahead and got it but um you know these are my reels i keep the the blue hose on this one my pressure hose and then i just kind of got a stacking kit put some wood down and got my supply hose for my IBC tote um but yeah the uh the pump I got on pressure tech I highly recommend it you know you get the little kit you get the pump the poly hose the gun they give you a j-rod set and um like I said it's been nothing no problems at all eventually I want to upgrade to an air diaphragm or a booster but I don't need to now, you know, if I'm hitting a house and downstream's not working, I can just, you know, spot treat things with this, you know what I'm saying? It works good. You know, downstream a house, and if I absolutely have to, I can spot treat with this, no problem, right? You know, works good. Um, oh yeah, and that's the, uh, the pressure, you know, the Predator build I did. It's eight and a half gallons a minute. 3500 psi i gotta mount my unloader a little better i have it quick connected i know people were giving me shit about that but hey it works i gotta do a 90 and then come up the bottom so it sits right here i was just worried when this goes bad and i had to take it off i would have had to take all this stuff off so i don't want to have to do that so i you know just was thinking ahead that's all some people were giving me grief about it but that's fucking what people like to do sit at home and fucking critique people and they don't even know what the fuck they're doing um oh yeah i got all my chemicals up here some red raider let me step up oh man all right so yeah i got some red raider some snotmanade these things man get them if you do roofs, put them down while you're doing it. You know, throw you know while you you know while you're up on the roof before you go up. Maybe sprinkle some of these down in the driveway in the walkway by the front door. So when they come out to check what you're doing, this takes over the bleach smell. Um, I got some apple wash. That's shamrock sauce. If you check my videos out below, you'll see I got some shit off Amazon. Works the same thing. There, I literally now that I have apple wash, it's literally the same stuff. 
it's just dye you get off Amazon. And obviously that's red instead of green. Um, I got some brushes, soft brush, soft brush. I got a yellow stiff brush. This one's medium. You gotta have tons of brushes. Um, my surface cleaner, a little leaf blower in case I need to blow off a roof. Um, oh yeah, sludge pump, awesome tool to have on the truck, man. If you're doing a surface cleaning job and it puddles up at the driveway, you can get all rid of all that. Sutner gun, man, this is my favorite. The, uh, it's the um, 2605, good gun. Um, let's see, gotta have buckets. Uh, I got extra fittings and stuff that I keep in here. Teflon fittings, O-rings, some brass fittings that I have, couplers, picks, squeegee, nozzles for my surface cleaner if I want to switch them out. Um, some tools here. I got my J-rods. Got a bunch of them. M5 twist nozzle, awesome tool. This, this thing works pretty good too. Um, shooter tip. Um, let's see, another twist nozzle. That I actually made off my X-Jet. Um, you know what, let me, sh I'll make another video how I modified it, but yeah, that's it guys. I mean, this is my trailer. This is my setup. If you have questions, comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, that's it, man. I mean, it's pretty simple. That roof pump, though, I recommend the Pressure Tech. It's a Delavan, five and a half gallon per minute. They also have the Fat Boy, which is seven gallons. Honestly, the 5.5 is more than enough I'll ever need for a roof cleaning. As well, maybe as I get bigger and do bigger properties, but the five and a half is good. Maybe just get the seven if you, if you, I don't know. If you're doing a lot of work, I don't know. But five and a half is good for me. I hear a lot of guys say the five and a half gives you less problems too. But, um, yeah, the five and a half has been great for me. I think it's around 400 bucks for that whole kit. I really recommend it. If you're trying to get into roof cleaning, 400 bucks, it's worth it. Then you throw another 100 in for the battery. And then what else? A hose reel if you need. That's it. And then... When I first started, I was just using a 55 gallon drum that you can get for like 10 bucks on Craigslist. So don't even worry about getting a fancy tank, guys. Just get a 55 gallon drum, mix up your stuff in there. You don't even have to do the proportion or just do a 50 50 mix, 60 40, whatever you want to do. Drop your drop tube in the bucket and boom, you're ready to go. You don't have to get all fancy with it until later on. Um, but I highly recommend it. Pressure Tech. Um, also, Russ Johnson's got a lot of stuff you need as far as snotmanade, pressure hose. He's a good guy. Lori's got a lot of good deals too. I got my blue hose from her. I get my gray hose from Russ. And then I got that pump from PressureTech.com. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you have any questions, hit me up. Like, subscribe, share. Take care.